Hi there, it's Sam from poothfuls.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and it's a quick project, and this is a quick project for the new crafter. Now, we do have our great big gorgeous annual catalogue um, called, can't remember what it's called. Uh, it's called Creativity is Calling. So this is our big annual catalogue, but we also have a smaller one called Experience Creativity. This one's aimed at the newer crafter, somebody who's perhaps not done a lot of stamping before. And in it, we've got some great kits here. We've got a kit here, we've got a stamp set to go with a kit. I'll come to this in a second. Easy peasy stamping, note cards, two inks, one stamp set. Hoot Hoot, which I showed you earlier in the week. And then we've got this one here, Magnolia Blooms. So this is, it coordinates with our Magnolia Lane suite. It has a separate set of cards. We've got the memory, Memories and More cards. Um, but we've also got Magnolia Lane. So, I wanted to show you the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set, which is this one, massive, and it's got dies to match. And this is Magnolia Blooms. So it's the same font and phrasing, same sorts of flowers, but much smaller. And then, oh, I've got a red light flashing on my camera. Oh, we've got a courier coming. These boxes, so these are from the It Starts With Art set, and you put them together in the way that you, you know, our boxes get delivered to you, I mean, you've had lots of our boxes, I'm sure. So this is how it kind of goes. And people have said, oh, it's stamped the wrong way up. It's not, because you would seal it up like that. That's how you would seal any kind of a box. I'm going to be covering over this part, and the doorbell is literally about to go. Bear with. Yes, that was the doorbell. Anyway, right, so what we're going to do is we're going to cover this part up um, because you might not want to give a box that says stamping up on the side. This is very appealing to us as demonstrators, but I want to show you a super quick project. Right, so I'm going to unwrap it all and I've taken some of the designer series paper that is from the Magnolia Lane suite, so it's absolutely beautiful. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I didn't cut it wide enough. <laughs> After all that, it should have been four inches wide. Let's get another bit. Okay. Let's just grab one <laughs> random. Oh, cutting off camera because I can't fit my trimmer on. So let's try that again. Four inches by 12 inches, 10 centimeters by 30 and a half. So it almost, well, it does. It covers all the way round. <laughs> I should have been three and three quarters. Oh, for goodness sake. Who brought me to the party today? Three and three quarters. Nine and a half centimetres. Oh, there we go. Got there eventually. So. <laughs> it's that kind of a day. What I'm doing, what I need to do is get this one tucked away and burnished and that one tucked away and burnished so you get hold of your paper in one hand and you bend okay just there and you take it away and you press it more firmly with your fingers that fits there easy then you keep following round and you bend there and the next bit take it away make sure it's all lined up and you press that one so we've now got two of our score lines. That was that one, wrapped around and there. This one, exactly the same, bend it out of sight, okay, come back to your start point. Essentially what we're doing is wrapping it round and round and following the score lines that are there. Okay. And then the 
last one. Let's come back to the beginning again, all the way round. And the last ones are going to be on this bit here. And that's quite an easy one to do. Just like that. So again, uh, press firmly. And so that is now going to stick and wrap all the way around. Now, if you don't have a corner rounder, that is fine. I do have a corner rounder. So I'm going to round these edges because that will match this. And start putting it together. Possibly would have been simpler if I'd actually, you know, stuck this down first, but that's okay. So my box is being done upside down, but that's, like I say, when you get your package, it's sealed at the bottom, um, and then you just slice it open at the top. So I'm kind of doing the same thing. Now, this bit here, tear and tape on this edge. And on this one. Only take off this bit first. And you just line it up. And then wrap it all the way round, take that tear and tape off as well. And that's your box wrapped and covered. Easy. Now, I'm going to put some of the beautiful Magnolia Lane ribbon on it. I'm not going to cross it twice, mostly because I'm running out. I'm going to tie a bow. I'll do my best to tie a bow. If you haven't come across my videos before, bows and I are not friends. See, look, I've got. I can't tie a bow. I can tie laces. I can't tie a bow. Well, it's because laces don't need to be pretty. There we go. So that's going to come over here. Now, if you are a beginner crafter, I'm not sort of suggesting that you come in and start getting dyes and things like that. But I will show you a cute technique using one ink. So I've got my image and I've got my block and I'm going to cut a piece of cardstock, a piece of Whisper White. Well, actually, I'm going to stamp it first in a dark brown. So I'm going with this lovely brown called Soft Suede. It's a great brown that goes with it. And I'm stamping it and it doesn't bother me that it's gone off the edge of the cardstock but your ass what you need to have in your arsenal is Wink of Stella well where's my yarn it's not in my pot it's right there okay it's off to one side I got it out ready so Wink of Stella is liquid and when you've got a dark ink it will pick up that ink and move it around you don't need to be neat, you don't need to be perfect. It's doing a watercolour wash for you. You don't need to invest in your blends. I do love blends. Have a look at my other videos and you'll see me doing this with colouring these sorts of stamps in with blends. But that is really very pretty. So it's just washed it across. Get a pair of scissors and just hack it off. Easy, no science required. Then I'm going to take Thank You, which is over here. And this is obviously a photopolymer stamp set, so you can see straight through. I'm going to get my black stays on. And I'm going to come across in one bottom corner and stamp my Thank You, which you can see. Grab couple of dimensionals or one on an edge pop that down to one side 
that is a beautiful box that you can gift away. You haven't had to make the box, you've just had to wrap the box. Easy, easy. Love it. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.